Hey guys, this video is going to be about replacing a disk on FreeNAS Corral. So first off, let's come over and look at the data set we'll be working with. Our topology is just two disks in a mirror. So if you had an extra disk around um, that you didn't need the space for, and you were more concerned about the safety of your data, you could always keep that as a spare disk and it would automatically take over um, as long as that disk is the same size or bigger than any of the drives it needs to replace in your array. And um, so if a disk were to fail or if the cable were to become detached, this drive would automatically take over for the failed drive. So assuming we do not have a spare drive on our system before a disk fails, what we would do is go to the console. Uh, as of this video, uh, you're going to have to replace a failed drive in the console. So a few commands we're going to want to get familiar with are disk shell, which shows us all the disks in our system. And as you can see, uh, that uh, volume, SSD 750, is comprised of disks ADA2 and ADA3. They have ADA4 in here unallocated at this point. Um, we can also do volume shell. And there are two volumes. Um, we can do volume. You know, in any of the commands in, in the console, you can uh, either hit a question mark and hit enter to find out what you can do next, or you can just double tab and, and it will show you um, your possible command completions. I prefer double tabbing usually. So, volume, SSD 750, show, and that will show the smart status, things like that, uh, whatever other status of our uh, volume that we're working with. And we can also do volume oh. show disks and that will show us the disks in our array so I can simulate a uh, drive failure a couple different ways here I can either do uh, volume uh, our volume name offline ADA3 is the disk I'm going to mess with right now and now we're going to see we have a volume that is degraded. And if we go back up to storage, you can see we get a yellow light on that drive. And if we go to topology, you can see it shows one of the drives offline. I've also simulated that by just detaching the drive and it'll say removed right here. Um, I don't think there's a difference as far as I can tell in this process. I mean, you're, if you have a drive where the board on it fails or something, it may show up as removed. Um, of course, you could also proactively remove a drive if it's getting lots of errors or things like that going offline, coming back online. So, okay. So, now that that drive is offline, what we want to do to replace that drive is volume, or volume name, and then we want to do replace ADA3, the uh, drive device name of the failed drive with our new device name. and the device I'm going to be using for this tutorial is ADA4. So on the console, ADA4. And it should create a task to start replacing that. And you can see it running over there. And if we do task, um, you can see right here 2417 was the task that was created. 2417 show. And you'll see uh, the started at and finished at. It's not finished yet. State executing and the percentage of progress of that uh, replacing the disk with the other disk. Um, since this is a mirror, it's going to have to copy all of the data on one drive over to the other drive. So that's going to be a lengthy process. So you can come into the command line and keep checking on that drive rebuild progress. And when that reaches 100%, your drive is replaced and you are good to go. That completes this tutorial. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.